So after I posted a video earlier this week about the portrait of Madame X by John Singer Sargent, I've had a few very insistent friends suggest that I do this more regularly. And I thought, why not? There is literally nothing else going on. And frankly, one of the paintings I mentioned last week piqued my interest in a way that it never has before. This is Resting Girl, or The Blonde Odalisque by Francois Boucher, 1751. I have always liked this painting because it's beautiful and also incredibly sexy. And frankly, today I'm here to tell you about how sexy art can be. It probably won't be the last time. So, the Blonde Odalisque is a portrait of Marie-Louise O'Murphy, the youngest mistress of King Louis XV. Content warning here, she was quite young. 14 years old young. Dang. Which made me very curious. How does a 14-year-old girl with an Irish last name become the mistress of the King of France? This is Marie-Louise. She was born in Rouen in 1737. Her family was of Irish ancestry and we think immigrated to France a couple generations before she was born. And we know that because of jail. Be yeah, jail, jail records. This girl was born to just criminals. Her paternal grandfather was arrested in the 1690s after his first wife died. And before Marie was born, her father spent time in the Bastille for stealing diplomatic correspondence. And her mother? Prostitute. In fact, of the 12 children Marie Louise's parents had, seven of them lived to adulthood, five of them were girls, and every one of those five girls, prostitutes, Marguerite, Brigitte, Madeleine, Victoire, and Marie Louise. And you know, I don't completely understand what happened because one day you have correspondence about these five O'Murphy girls just following the French army around. She must have been recruited to become one of the king's mistresses for her beauty because suddenly you have the Marquis d'Argenson writing, the king had a new mistress and she belonged to a family of prostitutes and thieves. Whoa. Smash cut to Versailles. Girl's gone up in the world. So she gets painted by Boucher in the Blonde Odalisque. And if you find that painting intensely suggestive, well done. You are experiencing the art correctly. The Blonde Odalisque is an example of French Rococo era art, which is very much marked by its sense of sensuality, characterized by soft colors, curvy lines. It depicts scenes of love, nature, amorous encounters. Just look at the men pushing this woman or possibly just looking up her skirt in this painting which is literally called the happy accidents of the swing. Back to Marie Louise. The yellow background, the pink duvet makes her pink naked skin pop. She's posed sexually. Even the word odalisque means a woman in a harem. We're not trying to hide anything here. So what happened to this beautiful girl? Well, she has an illegitimate child with the king in 1754, a daughter. As was customary, the king paid for the child to be placed as a ward in a notable family. But here's the thing, only two years of being the king's mistress and Marie Louise makes a grave mistake. She tried to replace the king's official mistress, longtime royal favorite, the notorious Madame de Pompadour. Just look at her. Don't you dare, girl. 
Marie got kicked out of Versailles that night. Do not touch Madame de Pompadour. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Marie Louise got married and had legitimate children and didn't die until 1814 at the age of 77. But thanks to Boucher, we always have the memory of her looking like this. <laughs>